My experience with the John Vulcan Academy is that it saved my life. Um, I came into the program, I had nothing. Um, I was living a horrible life. Prior to coming here, I was um, at a time of kind of desperation. I, I kind of got lost in what I was doing and, um, you know, I knew I was going in the wrong direction and I knew I needed somewhere that um, I really needed to turn my life around because the road I was heading to, I mean, it was getting dark quick. Well, the John Vulcan Academy is all about changing lives. Our mission is to change lives. We do that not just by helping them overcome their addiction, but they build their life skills and learn all the tools they need to stay sober for the rest of their lives. That's their work training, education, um, how to have a positive attitude, healthy relationships, literally everything you and I would need to live a successful life, that's what they learn here. Here, uh, it, was, it was challenging. It was basically learning how to live life all over again, tools and skills that I just missed out on when I was, you know, when I dropped out of school and I was struggling with addiction. Um, down to getting up in the morning was hard to get up and make my bed and have breakfast. So I really learned how to be accountable, um, look, at, look after myself, stand up for myself, um, learn about life. Before I came here, I don't think I had a, a really a life or what life was like. I mean, I believe I did. I believe I had good parents that shown me what life is about and what like the true values in life. I really feel like though through my addiction, I lost them. And here, it's given me every kind of value back in life. It's taught me respect, honesty, like humble care and concern for people that you never thought you would. I have people from all over the world that come here to see us and it's like to know that you could care for someone again just as much as you cared about your family before. Uh, definitely they, they incorporate a lot of sports activities and healthy eating and stuff like that. Things that I wasn't really looking out for that I didn't see as important but um, definitely in the aspect of working out. I mean you know, prior to coming here I consider myself kind of feeble. Now I mean I could pick up a whole couch for myself which you know I didn't think I'd really do. but. I didn't even have to convince them. They were all hands up, I want to do the half marathon. They're so excited. They can't believe other people out there want to support them and what they're doing and it makes them really excited to know that there's an army of people out there wanting to support them rebuild their lives. I'm super excited about it. I feel like it's going to be a great day and just always look forward to going out, you know, and doing a run with a whole bunch of people that have the same goal in mind, you know, and they're all out there for the same reason. It's always really awesome, so. When we get to go out on activities, it's awesome. Like it is, that's where our memories shine. Like it's like, we will remember the Rock and Roll Marathon because this happened, this happened, or we've seen these people dressed up, or we dressed up like this. We really bond together. Definitely excited, you know? So to get that experience and to try, I'm really grateful for and, you know, looking forward to it. Every student from the John Vulcan Academy will be out running at the Rock and Roll Marathon. We'll all be there. <laughs> so when you see me at the finish line, you know it's a rule. You have to smile or it doesn't count, and it's a dance floor. Oh, that's no problem. I, I think that's all I know how to do is just smile, so that's okay. <laughs>